Rated M for Main Stage News. How's it going guys? This is Main Stage News. And in today's video, I've got two topics for you guys. My first one is Black Ops 2 and the live stream, where to see it. And I'll probably do a little bit on my thoughts on Black Ops 2, the information that has been released. And my second is, I have a channel update for you guys. But first things first, let's get into the Black Ops 2 details. Now, Gamescom's Black Ops 2 live stream will be at Treyarch's Twitch page. That's twitch.tv, pretty sure, forward slash Treyarch. I'll leave a link down in the description. They've already released a bunch of information about the creator class, the kill streaks. I mean, just about everything. They spilled the beans on pretty much already. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of videos about that. That's why this video is not about that. But I'm really curious to see if they're going to release any information about the zombies. I was really surprised that they released multiplayer information before they released any zombie information. Usually it's the other way around, it goes single player, zombie information, and then multiplayer. So I was kind of shocked that all of this information is coming out about multiplayer and we really haven't heard much besides rumors about the zombies. Personally I think it's because zombies is still kind of in development because it has been rumored that zombies is going to be using the engine that the multiplayer uses which it may take a little while for them to work some kinks out with that because they're not used to making zombies on that engine in case you didn't know before zombies was on the campaign engine that's why once you got to higher levels it would get kind of glitchy and laggy because it couldn't take that many things on the map that many zombies and it just make you really laggy i really doubt that we're going to see any confirmed information from Treyarch themselves about the zombies game mode because Call of Duty they do kind of like spreading their information across like they just released a bunch of multiplayer information so they're not gonna go out the same week and release a bunch of zombies information because that wouldn't be smart marketing for them they're gonna wait until probably early September or late September rather early October to start saying a bunch of stuff about the zombies because they want to keep the hype going if they wait a little while they can keep the hype going until like release date but if they get all the beans on the table right now nobody's gonna really be that excited for it come november and also they kind of want to have the game fresh in your head if you just remember oh, a month ago they released this zombies trailer they had all these details about zombies it looks sick i'm gonna go out buy this game now if they do that a month before the game comes out you're gonna remember that in your head but if they put all the beans on the table like right now you're probably gonna remember like a halo 4 trailer over the call of duty trailer another thing that i wanted to talk about with all those black ops 2 multiplayer information coming out is how uavs are gonna kind of motivate people to use ghost now a bunch of people i feel are going to be using uavs for the reason that when somebody calls in a uav every Every single kill that, that his teammates get while that UAV is up, that counts towards his kill streak. I think it gives him about 10 points. It might change between game modes, but it, from the gameplay that I saw, it gives him about 10 points towards his kill streak or point streak, whatever you want to call it. Now, if a ton of people are motivated to use UAV because of this reason, that's going to motivate even more people to use Ghost as their first perk. So I'm kind of afraid that in Black Ops 2, Ghost is going to be just as much of a problem as it was in Black Ops or in Modern Warfare 3. Another thing about the Ghost perk is it's supposed to only work when you're moving. Now, when I first saw this, I figured, you know, someone could just strafe back and forth in a corner that's not really doing anything, but then I thought about it a little bit, and I figured if they could make it so if you're moving in the same sort of area that you pop up on the radar, so if you're sitting there strafing back and forth in a room or whatever, you're still gonna pop up on radar and Ghost would be useless to you. And then I watched one of Woody's Gamer Tags video, and he had a really good analogy about this. He explained it really good. He said that if he was kind of king over at Treyarch, he would make it so the players sort of had a 10 foot long plume of smoke kind of following them. Now this smoke isn't actually there, but they would have this imaginary 10 foot plume of smoke right behind them as they moved. And if you ever went back in that smoke, that you would pop up on the radar and this smoke would kind of dissipate over time. So if you were moving around the map and using ghosts like you were supposed to, you would never pop up on radar. But if you were kind of strafing back and forth in a room, that's when you would start to pop up on radar. Anyway, that's about all that I had to say about Black Ops 2 today. But the other thing that I did want to address in this video was I have school coming up here in a little while. I am 17. I'm going into my senior year. So I'm not going to have very much time to make videos. 
I am going to try my hardest to make a video every single day. But not only do I have school, but I also have a job. I work at a pizza place. Like I said, I'm in high school, so don't get on me for that. But it is going to be very tough for me to make videos for you guys. I'm going to try my hardest to post every day, but school really does come first. I'm going to get all my homework done, go to work, and if I have time, I'm going to post a video. Now my goal really is to post a video every single day, but I will definitely post a video at least three or four times a week. So I thank you all subscribers and viewers that have seen my videos over the last couple weeks. I mean, I've actually grown pretty quick. I've gotten 50-some subscribers in about three weeks that I've been making videos. And I really do appreciate all of you for doing that. But I'm going to have to start making videos a little less frequently. But that is about it for this video. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you guys have something to say, drop that comment below. I'd love to hear it. And if you really enjoyed the video and like to see more just like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.